This is Bishop George Murray. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning and welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the first Sunday of Advent. Our celebrant is Father Jim Corda, president of CTNY, the Catholic Television Network of Youngstown. I am Marianne Yeager from St. Christine Parish. As we play this Mass, let us remember in our prayers Lucio, Angela, Evelina, Americo, Agilio, and Remo Carano. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirits. Nice to be with you today as we begin this Advent season, mindful of God present in the Word, in the Eucharist, and within us. So together let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. You, Lord, are our Father, our Redeemer. You are named forever. Why do you let us wander, O Lord, from your ways and harden our hearts so that we fear you not? Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your heritage. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down with the mountains quaking before you. While you wrought awesome deeds we could not hope for, such as they had not heard from of old. No ear has ever heard, no eye has ever seen any God but you doing such deeds for those who wait for him. Would that you might meet us during right, that you were mindful of you in our ways. Behold, you are angry and we are sinful. All of us have become like unclean people. All our good deeds are like polluted rags. We have all withered like leaves, and our guilt carries us away like the wind. There is none who calls upon your name, who rouses himself to cling to you. For you have hidden your face from us and have delivered us up to our guilt. Yet, O oh Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay and you the potter. We are all the work of your hands. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. Lord, Lord let, us let us turn, turn to, to you. you. Make us see, see your, your face, face and, and we, we shall be saved. saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken. From your throne upon the cherubim shine forth. Rouse your power and come to save us. 
Lord, make us make see us your, face. your face. Let us Love turn us to your, your face, and, and we shall be saved. saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted, the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Lord, Lord make, make us, us turn to you. you. Let us Let see us your face, face and, and we, we shall, shall be saved. saved. May your help be with the man of your right hand, with the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Then we will no more withdraw from you. Give us new life, and we will call upon your name. Lord, Lord make, make us, us turn, turn to you. you. Let, Let us, us see, see your, your face, face and, we and we shall be saved. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, be watchful, be alert, you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man traveling abroad. He leaves home and places his servants in charge, each with his own work, and orders the gatekeeper to be on the watch. Watch, therefore. You do not know when the Lord of the house is coming, whether in the evening or at midnight or at cockcrow or in the morning. May he not come suddenly and find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to all, watch. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, I'd like to begin today by quoting some lines from a little known Christian hymn. It was written almost a century ago by a Mrs. C.H. Morris. It's sung mainly in Protestant and evangelical churches. The first verse goes like this. Jesus is coming to earth again. What if it were today? Coming in power and love to reign. What if it were today? Coming to claim his chosen bride, all the redeemed and purified over this whole earth scattered wide. What if it were today? Now think of that just for a moment. What if it were today? What if Christ should return as he promised his followers he would and call an end to history here and now, this very day, December 3rd, 2017? Now in today's gospel, Jesus told a very brief story that lends itself to that very consideration. It's about a person who was going on a long journey. And before they did, they placed their servants in charge of the household. And to each, the master gave specific tasks, along with the admonition that he would return home at a time that they would least expect him. Now with that story in mind, let's go back to the original question. What if it were today? Now, the plain truth is that few of us, if any of us, 
expect a literal return of Jesus today. It's not that we doubt his promise to return. It's just that we are so conditioned to expect other things. You and I pretty much live life in a routine. The sun comes up in the morning and goes down in the evening. The rituals and routines of life go on day after day. Now, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. In fact, that's the only realistic way to live. Now, Jesus wasn't telling us to keep our eyes looking up into the heavens, anticipating his return at any moment. Around the new year, there's always a series of articles in the tabloids that speak of the end of time and Jesus' return on a certain day and a certain time. Now, there are those radio and television evangelists who claim that this is true. You'll forgive me, I hope, if I say that I don't believe them. Now, I'm not convinced that Jesus expects me to expect him to break through the clouds at any moment of every day. I am of the opinion that there are better things that I can do to spend my life and to expend my spiritual energies. Either he is coming today or he is not. Either way, there's nothing I can do about it. I would suppose that my best stance on the subject would be to leave the details to God and to get on with the business of living my life right here, right now on earth. Now, if today's gospel tells me anything, it's this. We should live our lives with a sense of accountability. God has put us in charge of this household we call earth. We are stewards of God's creation, and we are to use the gifts that God has given us for God's glory and for our enrichment. Now, the bottom line is that someday we will each have to answer to God for how well we handled this household that he gave us. In other words, we are accountable to God for what we do with what we have. Now, the other thing it tells me is that should our Lord return today or anytime soon, I don't want him finding me just sitting around waiting for him. I want him to find me doing my job to the best of my ability. If I were a father, I would want him to find me playing with my children and providing for them. If I were a mother, I would want him to find me caring for my family and bringing food to a sick friend. If I were a student, I would want him to find me hard at work with my studies or enjoying the company of my friends. Jesus said, stay awake, be on guard. The best way that I can do that is by going out to meet life with my whole heart and giving everything to the best of my ability. You see, life is for living. Let's not throw away that golden privilege. Together now, let us profess the faith that we all share. I believe believe in in one God, God, the the Father Father Almighty, Almighty, maker maker of of heaven heaven and and earth, of all things visible visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. 
He ascended, ascended into, into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Humbly now let us present to God our special petitions. For the church, that we might use this time of the holy season of Advent in to prepare our hearts for the coming of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For world leaders, for an increased awareness that all power comes from above, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who feel abandoned and hopeless, that they may know the comfort of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are facing difficult hardships in the winter months ahead, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our community, from young to old, that we may appreciate the anticipation that is part of this Advent season, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. At this time, we will bless and light our Advent wreath. Let us pray. Lord God, your church joyfully awaits the coming of its Savior, who enlightens our hearts and dispels the darkness of ignorance and sin. Pour forth your blessing upon us as we light the candle of this wreath. May their light reflect the splendor of Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to get, and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ your Son. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and, and earth, earth are full of your, of your glory. glory. 
Hosanna Hosanna in the the highest. highest. Blessed Blessed is he who who comes in the name name of the Lord. Hosanna Hosanna in the the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim Proclaim your your death, death, O Lord, Lord, and and profess profess your resurrection resurrection until until you come come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Our Father, who who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy thy name. Thy thy kingdom kingdom come, thy thy will be done, on earth earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily daily bread, and and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And and lead us not into into temptation, temptation, but but deliver deliver us from from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us share with those around us a sign of peace. Peace, Marianne. Peace, Thanks. Lamb of God, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head and pray for God's blessing. May the almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of his only begotten Son and yearn for his coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent and enrich you with his blessing. Amen. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, May he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.